Hey guys, Eric Peacock here with Fit Ministry. I'm here to go through our All-American program. Today we're gonna to do the lower body portion. So I'm gonna just run through all the different exercises just so you know what they, they are. Um, some of you might be familiar with, some of you might not, but I'm just gonna go through a few key points. We do some things called primers. But these are designed to kind of prime a lot of the muscles that help support the big lift. So we're gonna start off right away with a um, overhead tubing squat. We're, gonna, we're doing this because we're trying to get our thoracic spine get our shoulder girdle, which actually has a lot to do with when we squat and deadlift, we want that area to be active. So we're just gonna hold this overhead with a piece of tubing and squat, try to keep this tight up top, hold that up and squat. You're gonna feel that upper back get lit up and it's gonna help get all those postural muscles wake, woke up so that they'll contribute when you get into those big lifts. The other primer we're gonna do is called the hip thrust. We're gonna turn on the glutes and hamstrings because we're gonna do some deadlifting today. I'm gonna put my shoulders here like this. Cross one leg over, my sh shoulder, my neck is gonna be hanging over the edge, but I'm just gonna drop down on one side, drive up through my heel, big toe and pinky toe, feel my glute fire, hold it there for a couple seconds, drop down about six inches, up and hold it. So we're gonna get our glutes, our upper back, all these things turned on. And as we're, we're preparing to squat and lunge, all these things today, we, we prime this up, we're not just jumping into the big lifts. So then we're gonna be ready for our grinder strength lifts. So we're gonna start with, a traditional deadlift. Um, I think a traditional deadlift is good. The big thing is a setup. So when I get into a traditional deadlift, I'm gonna get my feet under the bar and I'm gonna look down at my feet so they're like basically like cut in half. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brace up my core. I'm gonna, I like to use an over under grip because then my grip doesn't become a limiting factor. I'm gonna hinge at my hips, grab the bar, and then I'm gonna take the slack out of the bar. You're gonna feel a little bit of slack in the bar, sit back, Shin should be vertical, and I'm just gonna pull that bar right into my thighs. And then as I come down, I'm gonna stick my butt back, eyes to the floor, reset up, and squeeze the butt and hamstrings as I come up. All right, so make sure you feel it back here. And what I like to do with deadlifts before I get up to my work weights, we're, I like, because we're going up to sets of five, so I like to do my first, do a few warm up sets, as many as needed, and I do my first set at five, probably like, 75, 80% of what I'm gonna to top out at, and then I do my last two sets at my top weight. So let's say I was gonna deadlift my warm up at 135 for five, I might do 185 for five, and then my work set, my first work set might be 205 for five, and then maybe finishing with 225 for two sets of five. So work your way up. You can do like a kind of a, a, a somewhat hard first lift, and then the last two sets are the hard, or the, the top weight. So that same thing is gonna go, our other grinder lift is called reverse, uh, there's a reverse lunge with a bar. So bar is much more challenging than a dumbbell. We're gonna put this across our shoulders, wrap it up, step back. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna step back, keep the weight on our front, big toe, pinky toe, and heel, and drive forward with that leg. I don't wanna put any weight on that other leg. I'm gonna drop and then drive forward. So you're gonna feel the quad, the glute, the hamstring, all working on one side. And those are gonna be our two grinder lifts. So there's three sets of five each. Then with this All-American program, we do what's called a power-up. We're gonna do something explosive to turn on, kind of fire up the nervous system again. It can be a little bit kind of beat up after doing these big lifts. So we're gonna do just a simple squat jump. We're gonna go back, load our arms back here, and we're gonna jump, jump, do five of these as fast as you can, rest one minute, then we're gonna do three rounds of five. And the idea here is to really just ramp up the nervous system before we move into the muscle work that's gonna help us target the muscles and the direct muscle work next. Um, so we're gonna move to our direct muscle work. Two exercises we've got here. Number one is we're gonna load the quads a little more. This is a little more quad directed. We're gonna go put the dumbbells, some dumbbells right here on my shoulder. Front dumbbell squat. Get that squat stance, your toes can turn out slightly. And I'm just gonna sit back, bend my knees, try to get the parallel. I try to aim my elbows inside my knees and then just drive up and drive up. If you wanna, Feel a little more quad, or you feel like you're having a hard time getting down, or you feel pain in your knees, one thing you can try is to do the same thing and just elevate our heels here just like this. And now you should feel a little bit more in the quads. Second one we're gonna do is called the Bulgarian forward bend. So if the cameraman come over here alongside this bench. Now we've all done, maybe you guys have done Bulgarian squats. I think I've had them in some of the previous programs. We're gonna do one that's more of a glute hamstring emphasis. So we're gonna just get a kind of a high bench. Hang the dumbbells here and I'm gonna bend at my hip and I'm gonna lean forward. Keep my heel, big toe, and pinky toe down. I'm gonna pull my hip through, pull my shoulders back. I know. 
it goes back, pause, and then come back up. And you're gonna feel this hamstring and glute working. So that's gonna be your two direct muscle work exercises. Finally, we're gonna finish in this program. This is why I like it. Athletes are all about mental toughness, right? Sports, if you've ever played sports, mental toughness is a big part of that. So we're gonna do a mental toughness drill, drill called the Grit Builder. So for this, this program, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a wall sit. Just like you're back in gym class, you know, where you got in trouble and you had to go sit on the wall. You're gonna go come down here, thighs parallel, we're gonna sit. Just like this, you wanna feel it, kind of spread out quads, boots, stay nice and tall, don't be wrenching around here. And I'm gonna do this for three minutes, and every time I have to get out, I'm gonna assess a penalty, and that penalty is gonna be assessed after. So if I get out, if I have to rest during that three minutes, I get 10 seconds to shake out, and then I'm gonna get back into that wall sit. So if you, if you have to get out, which you will, you don't be surprised if you, you, you come out two to four times during that wall sit. Every time you come out, you're gonna owe 20 body weight squats. And when you get done with that wall sit, you're gonna assess your penalty. And it's gonna be a body weight squat. I just like to throw my arms forward, pull them back. And you're gonna do 20 of those for every time you, you, you came out of the wall sit. So if you come out three times, you owe 60 squats. You can do them however you want. You can do them all in a row. You can do them in chunks. You just have to get 60 squats done. And that is the lower body day. All those sections are laid out for you. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. So go, go get it and, we'll keep, and see us on the upper body day.